Hello, and welcome to Circus Plays Slay the Spire. Now, I'm using YouTube as a secondary uh, medium to kind of broadcast some games. I like to stream on Twitch. You can check out my stream below. But without further ado, Slay the Spire is a roguelike card game. Um, it's a lot like Faster Than Light, FTL, with some elements of Hearthstone and um, general like card game type elements. It's, it's a little difficult to explain in one breath. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So we'll click play here. There's a daily climb, which is a challenge that's available once a day. And I will do a series on those. But for now, we're going to play standard. And when we play standard, we can choose a ironclad, which is this guy here. And the ironclad is your barbarian glass. He's a warrior. He's very strong. He's very burly. And then we have the silent, which is a kind of rogue type magic-ish poison class more poison than magic i suppose um and i have more experience with the silent i'm relatively new to the game so we're gonna play the silent the silent starts with 70 hp 99 gold and the silent is a deadly huntress from the foglands she eradicates foes with daggers and poisons now there's relics in the game which are collectibles and the silent starts with the ring of the snake relic which at the start of each combat you draw two additional cards so i like card draw in my card games i'm not the best at magic or hearthstone Although I have streamed Hearthstone, and we'll probably do so again, but I'm at the best. So when we start here, um, we're going to talk to our well-ish friend, who looks like he may have six eyes, since we only see one side of him. Kind of hard to tell. And we'll talk to him. So let's see. So right off the bat, we can transform a card, obtain three random potions, or lose all gold, remove two cards, or lose our starting relic and obtain, obtain a random boss relic. Now here... Um, I'll get into these mechanics as we progress, but removing two cards isn't that bad. Uh, we start with five defense, five strikes, and two like trump cards, if you will. So, in theory, we could kind of uh, remove our defense and strikes and start getting a or get a head start on replacing them with better cards. Um, it's not that you are anywhere close to your deck limit in terms of size, but these cards kind of have a limited lifespan in terms of like how good they are. So we're going to transform a card, and I think we are going to transform a defend. We got Predator, which deals 15 damage, and you draw two cards next turn. So that's kind of, this introduction here is kind of a random event in which you get different choices every time you play. Sometimes you don't get any choices. Anyway, this is our map, and the goal is to get to the boss right here. And once we beat the boss, we ascend the spire and go to the next level, which is the same system. So this is where the game's kind of FTL-ish in the sense that we're going to choose a path and then we are going to navigate to the boss along these dotted lines with each of these icons being something different. For example, uh, this guy is the elite, so we can see one right here. Uh, these are regular enemies. This is the fire, which we can rest, restore health, or upgrade a card. We have treasure chests, which are here. And we have shops, which are right here. So we want to kind of plan this out in a way that, like, this early shop doesn't do us too much because we only start with 100 gold, 99 technically. Um, fighting elites is good if you're confident in taking them down, as they always give you a relic, I believe, or at least some kind of treasure. And we want to hit a shop later into the level when we have more money. So getting onto this path probably isn't the worst idea. And fires are always good as well. So I think we're going to probably take this far right path and trace it something like this up here to the chest. And then we're basically going to have to choose between an extra fire and a shop. But for now, let's just get started. So our first floor fight, we're fighting a jaw worm. He's going to attack 411. And this is our energy right here. And these, all these cards have a mana cost on the top left. So he's going to attack 311. And we can weaken him with this card. So that uh, causes him to do 25% less damage for one turn. So between that and the survivor card, which is 8 block, we can discard a defend. We are not going to take any damage because we have 8 block. So we'll hit him with a strike. Two strikes, actually. Put some damage on him. And another turn. So block is a kind of ephemeral element in the game in which... It goes away after each turn whether or not it's used. Now there's some exceptions and there's different cards and different factors into that, but as a general rule, your block is removed after the turn whether or not it's used. 
So in black just protects your HP. So again, he's going to attack for 7 damage. Now this particular turn, uh, we can't deflect any more than 5 of it. Unless we kill him. But, strike does 6 damage, predator does 15. So it looks like we can hit him with predator. A strike, and that's it. We're just going to take 7 damage on the nodes here. I'm okay with that, honestly. That may not necessarily be the best play, but he's also blocking now, so... And he's dead. So, it, it depends, like, how fire-starved you are, how... You know, how much of an opportunity you have to restore your health. Anyway, we get rewards for beating an enemy. In this case, we get 14 gold, and we can add a card to our deck. And this is where the deck building kind of comes in. So we can choose... All these cards are one mana, and we can choose one of them. So we have Sucker Punch, which deals 7 damage and applies 1 weak. We have Bane, which deals 7 damage. If the enemy is poisoned, deals 7 damage again. And we have Infinite Blades, which at the start of your turn, add a Shiv to your hand. It Shivs are 0 cost attack cards, which exhaust. Exhaust meaning they're removed from the combat uh, permanently. They come back the next combat, but they're gone for that particular instance. Whereas your discard pile eventually will get shuffled back into your hand. So, in this case, we don't really have too much poison. Actually, we don't have any. So, stacking, giving Bane, it's basically just deal 7 damage. So, Sucker Punch, in this case, is instantaneously better. Uh, this will always give us a free attack, though, once it's been played. So, there's different types of cards as well. Um, there's power, skill, and attacks, I believe. I believe that's it right now. Um, the game is in early access, so more could be added. Let's see. So, this, this cultist is intending to use a buff. So, that means he's not going to attack this turn. So we don't have to really worry too much about defending. So let's play... Um, see, Neutralize only does damage this turn. Um, at the same time, it's free damage. So we'll play Predator. Draw two more cards next turn. We'll play Infinite Blade. So next turn, we'll get a Shiv. So we can see that mechanic. Okay. Kaka. So his power is unmatched. He is... Um, aggressive looking to attack for 6 damage and at the end of his turn he gains 3 strength which is basically a damage buff uh, so essentially he's just going to keep getting stronger and stronger so we can hit him with a shiv so this card will be removed from his combat but we'll get one next turn a different one and we're probably going to want to think about defending to mitigate all incoming damage so we have 10 block he does 6 damage he has to break our block entirely so if he hit us again for 6, we would take 2. So now he's going to attack for 9. But we have Neutralize back. So play a shift, because that's free. Let's see if we can kill him. Predator will do 15 damage. This will do 3, so that's 18. Yeah, we can kill him. Okay. GG. So, again, we'll get some rewards. We'll get 14 gold, a Poison Potion, which applies 6 poison. So we can carry 3 potions. You get poison potions, regeneration post potions, black potions, anything you can think of. And we can add another card. So acrobatics, reflex, and escape plan. Acrobatics allows us to draw three cards, but we discard a card. Reflex is unplayable, but if this card is discarded from your hand, draw one card. So that works with like a you know card cycling archetype. And then escape plan is draw one card. If the card is skill, gain three block. Of these, I kind of like escape plan because it's free. So, again, I'm still a little bit new to the game. I've played probably for about three hours, and that's probably nothing for what compared to what some people have played in this. Um, but I've been enjoying it so far. It's both thought-provoking and relaxing. So let's see. So they're going to both attack, and they're going to do 11 damage. So let's play Survivor. And we'll discard Predator, which, again, just puts it in the, in the discard pile. So it'll come back. And then we can defend... So we mitigated all incoming damage. We'll play Infinite Blades. Long-term play there. We're looking more to get a Shiv each turn rather than put damage on these guys right away. Because with the Shiv, we can probably uh, kill either guy in one turn. So again, we can hit him with Shiv. He's going to guard up. And then, I believe, we cannot kill him. So let's play Escape Plan. Uh, we can't kill him, actually. Okay. So this guy is just going to buff. So the other the other louse was going to attack us. 
So he's just going to get a little bit bigger. Um, his attack damage has increased. We can weaken him with neutralize, which is probably what we're going to do. Unless we can just straight kill him, which actually we can do. Or no, he blocks. He blocks, that's right. Um, so yeah, we're going to take him down to... 1 HP if we do that. Let's just defend, mitigate all damage, and kill him next turn. There's something to be said about mitigating damage in this game. It's very important, and at a certain point, you're going to take damage, but it becomes more of a question of, like, how much damage is worth taking, at least so far in my experience. Okay, so he's dead. 20 gold, and add a card. You get Dagger Spray, which deals 4 damage to all enemies twice. Blade Dance, which adds 2 shifts to your hand, but that's a one-time thing. Or distraction. Add a random skill to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Exhaust. So. I mean, distraction's kind of RNG based, right? Dagger spray, on the other hand, is kind of like an AoE type attack. So now we gotta make a decision if we wanna hit this random event and fight this elite up here, or if we wanna take this route. I'm gonna go. See, but with the shop, we're gonna be in at least two combats before or three combats sorry before fire um whereas with this path we're gonna fight two enemies and then have a fire and then i get a chance to another fire so let's actually do that and this will give a good opportunity to showcase a random event so this one's called wheel change you come upon a dapper looking cheery gremlin it's time to spin the wheel are you ready of course you are so we'll play let's see what happens so we spin this thing. I'm not sure what all the possible outcomes are. I'd imagine it's either very good or very bad. That looks good. Ooh, a free heal for you. And we get to heal to full health. Okay. We'll just... So we didn't really need that, but... Okay, so this guy is interesting, the looter here. Because he will mug us and steal 15 gold um, every time he attacks. So... We got 20 damage incoming, which is actually quite a bit. Um, and we've only got two defense, so we can only mitigate half of it. Um, but we can get our shivs going. So we're basically in for one very aggressive turn from them. And it's likely they both won't attack next turn. See, he's interested in doing a negative effect on us. So let's neutralize the looter. We'll play a Shiv. We'll play two strikes. And we'll play a Survivor to mitigate all his damage. And end our turn. Okay. So now, I think we made the right call of not going to that shop there. Because we're so low on gold that, you know, there's nothing... Well, we could buy some things, but probably like one item. So we've got a lot of incoming damage this turn. Let's start with a... And we're weakened. Hmm. So we've got, what, 19 damage incoming. Let's play escape plan. That did not help us. Okay. Let's start with survivor. And we'll discard a strike. We'll play a shiv. We'll play a defend. And we'll play another strike. So we're going to take a little bit of damage here. We're going to take six. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. We'll get our gold back when we kill this guy. However, he will try to run at a certain point. Um, we'll have to be careful about that. So let's neutralize to get some damage. Free damage is always good damage. We'll hit him with a shiv. So I think, again, Black doesn't carry over, so there's no point in me doing that. I think he's going to try to run. Yeah. So we're going to want to eliminate this man uh, very soon. So he's going to attack for 10, uh, but we need to... I want to kill this leader. And this is the tricky part of whether do we kill the looter and take 10 damage, or do we just let it go. And I am not going to let it go because I'm a sour man, and I want my gold back. I probably could have poisoned him. Uh, poison is just damage over time, as it is in most games. So, okay, so we'll deal four damage. Hit him with some strikes. Play an escape plan. And that's about it. Okay, so he wasn't about to attack us, but. 
you know, sometimes I play the defense anyway for the block. So let's put two free damage on him and then kill him. Okay. So we've actually got our slow and gold back, 10 gold, an explosive potion, which does 10 damage to all enemies. We can add a card. Piercing Whale for one mana. All enemies lose six strength for one turn when you exhaust it. Dagger Spray, which we already have. One mana, deal four damage to all enemies twice. Or Slice, which is a zero mana, five damage card. I like Slice. Because again, you kind of... I like to start replacing my Strikes with uh, better cards. And if Strike does six damage, Slice does five damage, but it's no mana. Slice is, I would say, a comparable card, if not better. Okay. So this guy can be a little bit trickier. He's an elite enemy, so he's going to be quite strong. So he's just looking to buff, and I believe he has rage or something like that, where the more cards we play at a certain point, uh, the more aggressive he gets. So again, there's that slice for free. Let's play Predator. Okay. So, yeah, so in rage, whenever you play a skill, he gains two strength. So we might want to stay away from skills. However, at the same time, and we are going to poison him, actually. However, at the same time, we kind of need the defense. So we're going to buff him uh, by doing this, but I think we have to do it. I was hoping for a little bit more defense there to kind of offset that. It looks like we're going to take 10 damage, but that's okay. I think we have a fire after this. Yes, we do. And I would much rather upgrade cards than rest, but you, know, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. So we want to hit him with as many attacks as possible, basically. And this particular turn... Um, we are kind of out of luck because he's going to hit for a full 20 so we're going to have to rest at that fire this potion's not going to help us it might next turn it's down to 17 it's technically down to 13 hit with four points of poison damage but i think we're just going to have to hope for this hmm i think we have to do this yeah just to make sure that we stay alive and we get a relic for defeating a boss monster. So we get the Mercury Hourglass, which at the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. I mean, it's not bad. We get to add another card. So we get Poison Stab, which deal five damage or, and apply three poison for one mana. Glass Knife, which deal eight damage twice. Glass Knife's damage is lowered by two this combat. And then Well Laid Plans for zero. At the end of your turn, retain up to one card. Um, I prefer the poison, honestly. But Well Laid plans with cards like oh all our cards are pretty low mana i think either one of these choices will a plans or poison stab is going to be like a long-term play but i've never actually played with glass knife so let's take that now we didn't have to but and we're gonna rest so when you rest you only restore uh 30 of your total hp or 30 percent of what your total hp is rather so you never really restore from to full, so we're still at half health. But we have another fire up here, and we're probably gonna want to hit that. At some point, we're gonna want to upgrade cards. If you fall too far behind that, um, you can be in a lot of trouble. Let's neutralize, weaken his attack. We'll play Survivor, and we'll get rid of Strike. We'll play Escape Plan, because it's free. Hoping for more block. And we'll just play Glass Knife. Okay. So he's going to split at 50% health. He's going to make two acid slimes that are smaller than him. So we can enter. He's going to have a big attack, probably. But we'll get a chance to interrupt that, as you can see. So he's going to take a turn to split. And these guys not split but this guy's looking to do seven damage so what can we do well we can slice him do 15 damage so we can do 21 damage like that which unfortunately we're gonna take uh, seven damage from him yeah well kind of ugly but 
you get runs, at least I've had runs, I've played a couple hours uh, today before recording, including some audio tests and whatnot, and all, of course, all the tests that were not good enough to be posted onto uh, content creation site were good. And this one's not bad, though. So he's going to attack for 10 damage. We can easily negate that with a survivor, and we'll get rid of one defense, because we're not going to play all of them. And we can hope for skill card. Okay, so that actually... Oh, we're, we're weakened, okay. So we'll play one more defend, just because it's getting to that point. We'll play Glass Knives. Okay. So with a good hand, he's actually dead. Not fake dead, actually dead. We can neutralize him. And we can dagger spray him. And then we can strike him. Easy. Okay, so we're hurting for health a little bit. We can add a card. We have dodge and roll, gain four block. Next turn, gain four block for one mana. Acrobatics, one mana, draw three cards, discard one card. Or flying knee, which deal eight damage, and next turn, gain one energy. I like flying knee, and I like dodge and roll. I'm going to go with flying knee, because I want a little bit more uh, aggressive output. So this is our shop. We're going to get a fire about the same time anyway. And let's go this chest in case we decide we want the fire. So let's see. 50 gold and bag of preparation. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. I like that. Now we can choose to fight and go to the shop and then a fire. Or we can go to a fire. Hmm. Hmm. I like... Well, we have a lot of gold and we need, we need something. So let's go to the shop. And these guys are pretty easy. Okay. Okay, so they're looking to do a lot of damage. That's 21 incoming damage. Um, okay, that's 14 incoming damage now. So we can't actually dismantle all of it. Unless... No. But we can take down a lot of it, and that's important too. So we're being hit for what? Four? Okay. That's okay. That is okay. So I believe we could remove one of these guys with Predator. Um, well, Predator, or Strike and Slice, I think. Okay. And then we'll play Survivor, get rid of Predator. And we could even defend if we want. Look at that. So this, this Laos is all but dead. And so far, I think we've got an okay deck. It definitely needs a little bit of work. Um, we need some upgraded cards. We've got an Outmaneuver, which next turn we gain two mana if we play one mana this turn. An Infinite Blades, which at the start of your turn add a shift to your hand or prepare for zero. Draw one card, discard one card. I'm going to go with Outmaneuver. I like having one of those. And we got our Merchant. So what can we do? A gambling Chip. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and draw that many. Well, we can't afford that, so the Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, gain one energy and draw one card. Or the Pair, raise your max HP by 10. Now, the Pair is expensive, but I do want it. However, Noxious Fumes and Deflect are both cheap, and so is Madness. Those are all cards that I'm familiar with and I like. I think we're going to... Hmm... We can remove a card, though, too. Is there anything that we really want to remove? Maybe a strike. Yeah, just a, just one strike to remove. Just to kind of get... We want, like, to draw the cards that we really want. Okay, let's just take a look at our map here. So it looks like um, we can choose two combats and another fire combat and a question mark. We're going to rest just to be safe now you restore your health uh, when you defeat the boss so we can kind of plan around that so let's go to this combat that's the first step we have i believe this is a slaver and a louse okay so they're looking for some damage let's neutralize him and i believe we can just outright kill the louse yes okay and we'll play Survivor and discard Flying Knee for now. It doesn't really matter what we discard. 
at the very least, we'll only take one damage. Now, we probably want to heal at the next fire as well, um, if only to have better advantage against the boss, or bigger advantage, rather. So let's slice him, because that's free. Heal eight damage twice. We've only got one defend right now. So let's do this. Let's play escape plan. Okay, so that's three free defense. So if we play two defense, we negate uh, everything that he's about to do. So let's hit him with glass knives. And then we'll defend twice. Perfect. So there's some block cards um, for the silent that I really enjoy. I haven't seen them yet. And we haven't actually had a chance to use a lot of poison. A random card in your hand costs zero for the rest of combat exhaust. So let's do this. Let's play Deflect. I don't know if that can make Deflect cost zero, but Deflect is already um, cheap, or it's already zero. So let's... Brain Box stopped working there. You'll have to forgive me. So let's strike him so Strike doesn't become the card that uh, becomes free. And let's also play... Yeah, let's basically make sure Noxious or Outmaneuver is the free card. Okay, we'll take three damage on the nose. That's okay. That's okay. And we start with five mana. We don't really need that much mana to end this, but so it goes. Okay, 16 gold, an explosive potion. We can add a card. Outmaneuver, dodge and roll, or leg sleep. sweep. Now, outmaneuver, I like one of. I think two might be overkill because it's kind of a very situational card. Dodge and roll. Game four block, next turn game four block is also good. And leg sweep though. I think we want this as like your my like oh shit card. Like that's you know, like as as a um insurance policy, I suppose. So we got another merchant actually. And we can't do anything with this, I don't think. We buy a dagger throw, deal nine damage, draw one card, discard one card. I do actually like this card. I am going to buy it. I'm just going to assume it was a sign that we got a random shop, and that's the only thing we could afford. And we're going to rest um, and restore 20 HP, 21. So let's fight this boss, and let's see what he's about. Okay. So this is a tough boss for me. I've beaten him twice. I think I've fought him maybe four or five times. So I'm at a 50% win rate with him. So let's start out with Infinite Blades. So we get our shivs. Glass knife, knives, and this does eight damage. Let's just hit him, because he's looking to buff and defend, I believe. And if we hit him for three more damage, he changes to defensive mode, which will take a turn for him. So if he's ready to attack, uh, we're going to have to deal nine, six damage plus the three, I believe, because I believe the mode shift doesn't factor into block. So let's play Shiv. And we'll play Madness to see what we get for free. Okay, that is beautiful. Okay. Now is when things get a little hectic because I believe he um, will start having like a Thorns aura after his next turn and he will do damage to us uh, when we attack him. It's light damage, but it does add up, especially with how many attacks we do. Yeah, Sharp Hide. So Sharp Hide. Whenever you play an attack, take three damage. So he's basically um, gonna kind of screw us a little bit. So let's see if we get a any kind of skill. If we don't. We'll play Deflect. We'll play Noxious Fumes. And he will be poisoned next turn. We have to think about this. Is it worth taking three damage uh, just so. Well. We're basically trading three damage for three damage, or four damage, sorry. We gotta kinda consider it. We probably wanna burst him down or make sure that we have. Then again, we are gonna be restored to full health. So let's let's put some pressure on him, actually. That may have been a wrong and a very aggressive play. But at the same time, we're gonna have five mana now. I mean he's gonna hit for 16 damage. So, but we can basically do whatever we want. Like, we can play our whole hand, yeah. So we can play Leg Sweep to weaken him and neutralize. So he's now going to do only 12 damage. Um, we can defend. Uh, 
Oh, we gotta discard a card to do that, don't we? Oh, that was a little ill, ill-timed. To be totally honest, I should have done that last. That's okay though. We're still learning. And we'll just we're just gonna punish him. He's only gonna do 12 damage, and we just gotta burst him down just a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna have to do 40 damage in order to make him uh, transform again. Otherwise, he's gonna hit us for 12. Okay, it's getting to the point where we probably don't want to take. Um, too much unnecessary damage. So this does 12 damage. Okay. We can basically make him transform, though. And we're gonna do it. Oh, uh, did I do the math wrong? Oh, God. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, <clears throat> excuse me for that. For some reason. Oh, wait, wait. Was I right? Yeah, I was. Okay. Because he's poisoned. So if I would have hit him with the explosive potion, he would have transformed. Um, that's okay, though. That's okay. We'll play some Outmaneuver, because that'll be good next turn. And all these other cards don't really matter. Now, there's a card for the Silent that allows you to get one block every time you play a card. And that's probably my favorite way to pl play the Silent, because um, you have so many low-cost cards. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to have to probably hit him for some and take some pain unfortunately yeah so we're basically killing ourselves on him um, but he is going to transform next turn which means we'll get a couple turns of no thorn auras I think right sharp hide no I'm looking at sharp hide okay so we have to do 48 damage to him can we do that? Okay, so we'll play Deflect. That's 8 damage, 14 damage, 20 da 21 damage, 25 damage, 35 damage. So we can't outright kill him. And we have to think about this. Like, do we want to take 16 damage? We cannot take 16 damage. If we do pretty much anything, um, we're going to be entering a world of hurt. So we're basically going to defend here, play an outmaneuver, and let's hit him with this explosive potion. Um, yeah. I'm a little... We're running really low on health, and I don't want to lose this run yet, because I've had a couple of really good runs. Okay, so... 20 damage. Can we actually do anything? We can apply one week. Knock him down to 12 damage. But unless... Okay, so we have to play this defend to stay alive. Or we could play leg sleep. We could do that, yes. Let's do that. Um, we'll discard survivor. Okay. I think we're okay. Um, his next... We basically only have to do 6 damage to him. With the shivs, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. All right, beautiful. So that was a close one. A little bit closer than I'd like it to be. We get 99 gold, and we get to add a card to our deck. So what do we have? Tools of the trade. Serve your turn, draw one card, and discard one card. One mana. Two mana, corpse explosion. Enemy loses all poison. Deal damage equal to twice the amount lost to all enemies, or a thousand cuts. Whenever you play a card, deal one damage to all enemies. Excuse me. Okay. Now, I believe powers last for the whole combat. So, this means we're constantly cycling cards. Well, let's go with tools of the trade. Okay, now when you beat a boss, you get to choose a relic. We have the white, white beast statue. Potions always drop after combat. We have the runic pyramid. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Draw one less card each turn. Or the calling bell. Obtain three curses and three relics. We are definitely going to go Runic Pyramid. So, we will proceed to the next floor. Now, Act 2 is the city, and we will leave off here. So, we'll discuss this on the next episode, but basically, we're going to have to choose a path again, fight the boss, and we continue up the spire. So, thank you for joining me. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. 
Um, you can check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash circuscl for live streams of games, mostly like Fallout, Skyrim, uh, some PUBG and Fortnite, stuff like that. And thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate it.